everyone. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecast with a summer love forecast series for each zodiac sign. We're going to take a look at what's coming towards you this summer from June all the way through September, who to interact with, who to avoid, and a special message for you from your angel guides, your spirit team, the universe. So let's go ahead and take a look at that energy for you. General advice, as always, guys, always take from it what makes sense for you personally and release what does not make sense. I'll be starting off with these four decks here, two by Angelic Revelation 144 and a couple of my own. And then, of course, I'll be incorporating my own tarot decks into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what you need to know. All right, Scorpio, so what is coming towards you this summer? Let's take a look at that vibe, that energy. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. Summertime love. What is it that you need to be aware of? Ooh, we've got a few cards coming through. All right, we'll take them. We have the book child we have a twin flame card coming forward and then we have love language so you've got a lot of stuff perhaps that's coming in for you this summertime so the book represents being open and intimate revealing secrets if you are focused on a particular person at this point in time there is this need to perhaps communicate more openly to each other or maybe one of you needs to do that we have the child card, youthful, playful, inner child healing. So take that if it makes sense for you or even the person you're thinking about. Some of you might actually be interacting a lot with family during the summertime. It could be that. Some of you might even be pregnant and expecting at this point in time. So, you know, there's so many varying interpretations for that. And then we have the twin flame card. You mirror each other for growth and healing. And then finally, we have the love language card, social media, texts or calls. And of course, it depends on if you're single right now, if you are in separation from somebody that you're thinking about, or if you are in a relationship. So love language, I feel for this particular message, especially if you're single, you might be interacting a lot on social media, whether you're actually talking to someone right now or you end up meeting someone during summertime and for those of you who are in separation you might hear from somebody that you're thinking about some of you might be on a twin flame journey whether you are together or in separation we'll take a look and see what the tarot messages are but yeah Scorpio you've got a lot going on this summer so let's go ahead and see what we can find out I'll be pulling from my illuminated star tarot volume two Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. What do we need to know here? We're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles. That's a really nice energy, especially when it comes to your romantic life. But possibly also summertime could see a very positive shift as far as your finances or even your career opportunities go. It is bringing forward stability, not just in love, but other parts of your life. So I really like that. We also have the three of wands coming through. Expansion, rapid growth, looking ahead. That can apply to love life as well as career options. I'm just getting that for some of you guys. You know, not really tapping into some of the more unsuccessful endeavors and ventures that you've been on in the past and that certainly includes people that you've been with romantically just really focusing on what it is that you can bring into your life on a more positive note this summer for the next three months let's see what else divine feminine you're coming in as the queen of swords we have the two of cups right after that so for my feminines i feel this summer is a really great time for you to weed out people that are not serving you or people that you know are just not meant to go the distance with you romantically. I'm also feeling if you relate to that, that there's one person that you're focused on that you really feel in your heart space that that could turn into something or you're already in love with this person, but maybe it's, you know, got some obstacles and challenges that you're dealing with. 
And I feel this summer for my feminines, this is a really great time for you to clean house, so to speak, to be able to cut certain things out of your life that no longer need to be there. Let's see what else. Look at that. Okay, so we've got the death card coming through, which is always so significant when it comes in for a Scorpio reading because the death card represents Scorpio. So you know in your heart of hearts, Scorpio, what it is that needs to go and what it is that you are wanting to invest your time and energy into. That includes relationships, whether romantic or not. That includes even your work environment. It includes everything. Because this summer could be a time of change for Scorpio. Ooh, we've got the Nine of Cups. That is followed by the Empress. So Divine Feminine, there's a lot of your energy coming through here for this reading. You're focused on what it is that, <clears throat> excuse me, what it is that you are wanting to really manifest in your life. And, you know, we're halfway through this year and I'm really feeling for my feminines. You're concentrating on the second half of the year and really wanting things to shift and change for the better. And I love how we've got child and then we have the empress representing motherhood so i can't help but feel that for some of you guys this might have to do with family or again some of you guys might find out that you're pregnant or maybe you're already pregnant that could certainly be the case some of you could also be wishing to start a family or to get pregnant so maybe summertime is when you find out that that's a part of your reality. Let's see what else here. Some more divine feminine energy with the high priestess. Intuition, inner voice representing the feminine. And I feel with everything that's going on in your life this summer, divine feminine, you'll know again what it is that you want to invest your time into and what it is that you don't. And that really focuses on the next section that we're going to be taking a look into, who to interact with and who to avoid. So I'm really feeling your senses heightened during the summer season. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Wheel of Fortune coming through here. Okay, and that's followed by the lovers. You could be thinking of a Gemini for some of you guys. So Wheel of Fortune, that wheel is constantly turning. That wheel is constantly moving. So... I have a feeling, Scorpio, this summertime, whether you are feminine or masculine, I have a feeling things are going to shift and change for the better when it comes to your love life. I feel that there are particular choices that you know you need to make in order to get yourself back on the right track when it comes to your romantic partners and people that you're interested in developing a romantic relationship with. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we can find out here for you Scorpio so now let's take a look at who to interact with who is it that would add to your life rather than creating drama or you know people that you know in your heart of hearts you would rather you'd be better off avoiding interaction with that person so who to interact with for Scorpio We have Cancer, okay? So you and this person, you're both water signs. We have the Crab. You'll feel right at home in your Cancerian love's arms. Once you break through that tough shell, you'll find that you've found a life partner that's very soft and tender in their heart space, a love connection that is intense in and out of the bedroom, beautiful eyes, gorgeous smile. All right, so Cancer is coming through. So who else needs to present itself here for the Scorpio reading? We have the monkey. So part of this deck, it does have Chinese zodiac representation. So if you are either meeting someone during summertime or you're already focused on a particular someone, they could represent the monkey in the Chinese zodiac. You can always look that up. So it says if you like positivity in your love partnerships, you've met your match, a great sense of humor, their brilliant communication skills won't leave much room for awkward conversations between the two of you, an everlasting love. So that's a beautiful card. So we've got the crab, we've got the monkey. Let's grab one more here. 
for Scorpio. We have the stewardess. Okay, so the stewardess represents divine feminine energy in this deck representing air signs. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The way that's presenting itself here, some of you might be cross-watching for a divine masculine Scorpio. Okay, so let's go ahead. Whoops, I just dropped a card. Let's go ahead and clarify this with some tarot for Scorpio. All right, pulling from my yummy tarot deck here. So who to interact with? We've got the Ten of Pentacles coming through, okay? So didn't that already present itself? Yes, it did. So Ten of Pentacles came through already in your reading. I can't help but feel for some of you, you might even make a love connection with someone where you work, you know, wherever it is that you spend your time, your work environment. Financial windfall for Scorpio here. So something to do with your finances, but in a love reading, I love how Ten of Pentacles represents two people who could be very compatible. It's representing a very stable energy. Look at that, Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the Empress once again. All right, so that's the second time in this reading. So there's something to do with a very strong, empowering message representing the Feminines here, and perhaps a Masculine seeing you as their ideal mate. We do have the Two of Wands, and then we've got the Magician. So this summer... Scorpio, I feel this is a really great time for you to manifest, certainly when it comes to your love life. Everybody's got their own free will, and whenever I see the Two of Wands with these two paths to take, I feel when it comes to Scorpio, you all obviously already know what the past represents and some, some of the more disappointing or not-so-good experiences, and you're just really wanting better, and summertime is a really great start to get this going. We have Virgo and Gemini representing the Magician as well. So that could be significant for some of you guys. And remember, the Stewardess represents Divine Feminine Air Signs. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have the Three of Wands, finding your sense of direction, looking ahead rather than focusing too much on the past. And I feel that could be a theme as well for you, Scorpio look ahead rather than focusing on what the past represents. Okay, so that gives you an idea. <clears throat> Excuse me, I keep coughing. An idea of who it is that would be really good for you to interact with. Okay, so let's take a look at a very different energy and who it is that you should avoid. Whether you've already met this person or you meet them during the summertime. All right, so I'll be pulling from my Shadows and Secrets deck for this one. Who to avoid for Scorpio. Okay, so we have a couple cards coming through. The Violinist and then Two-Faced. Let me grab one more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, one more card here for Scorpio. All right. Some interesting, oh my goodness, I'm telling you, I've been losing my voice lately. Okay, we've got the violinist, two-faced, and then dentophobia. Pick whichever one of these resonates for you, especially if this is somebody that you already know, or of course, somebody that you end up connecting with during the summertime. <clears throat> the violinist has a sob story and an excuse for everything. Overly theatrical when upset creates drama but tries to gain your sympathies through crocodile tears. Okay, so they're full of sob stories, this one. Two-faced, insincere, deceitful, talks about you behind your back, pretends to be your friend, and stabs you in the back by sleeping with your significant other. That's pretty heavy. And then we have dentophobia, irrational fear of dentists. I don't know who this is for. I don't know. <laughs> Irrational fear of dentists, extremely bad oral hygiene, keeps you at arm's length. It's like pulling teeth to get them to kiss you, but that's probably for the best. 
Oh my god. Okay, so if you relate to that, somebody really needs to uh, get to the dentist pronto. Let's clarify. Oh my gosh. I'll be pulling from my Celestial Cosmos Tarot. All right, so somebody that's all about their sob story, making excuses. These two could actually go together in Sincere Deceitful, making excuses. And then we've got the Ace of Swords. So this is somebody that you probably want to cut out, not interact or not, you know, really engage too much with this individual. You really see them for who they are. Let's see what else. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a slow moving energy. If you connect or meet people like this, you're treading ever so lightly, Scorpio. You're not diving in fully. You've got one foot out the door, perhaps. Just being a little bit cautious when it comes to people like this. We do have the Ace of Cups. So you might feel connected to somebody that initially you feel like, wait a minute, you know, I, I think this could really turn into something. But you might find that they, they really do make too many excuses. Maybe you guys set a date to see each other and then they end up flaking, you know, things of that nature. But you are certainly going to attract love this summer, I feel. Especially if you happen to be single or it could even be somebody that you're in separation from and end up dating other people. But you might find that you're not really into those connections. All right, let's grab another. We do have choices coming through Seven of Cups. So make wise choices this summer, Scorpio, because not every person that you meet will be a good prospect romantically. I don't have to tell you that. I feel you would know it right off the bat, you know? <laughs> We've got the Queen of Swords coming through again. This reading is making me laugh because Divine Feminine, you're really not putting up with a whole lot of BS this summer, especially if you've just had a string of bad luck when it comes to love. It's like, next, you know, it's like, reject, next, I'm not interested, next, <laughs> you know, so you as the Queen of Swords, it's like, oh my god, no, I can't, you're, you're cutting them out, like, as fast as you realize that it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is, that's too funny. That's the energy that I'm getting, it's like, uh-uh, no. And it makes sense, too, that we've got the Two of Swords, because I have a feeling, Scorpio, you know what it is that you're looking for. And it's not this. You know, you're going to encounter people that you'll know right off the bat that it's not going to happen. You know, or the attraction could be lacking. Or once you get to know them, you realize, okay, this connection is not it. All right, so... That gives you an indication of what the summertime could look like and who it is that you need to avoid or who it is that you ultimately won't engage too much with, you know? All right, so lastly, let's go ahead and grab a special message for you from the universe, your angel guides, your spirit guides. This is from Angelic Revelation 144, Universal Heart Oracle, Prophetic Love Notes from Spirit. All right, for Scorpio, these cards have a lot of verbiage on it. So, of course, take whatever makes sense for you, whatever is jumping out at you. For Scorpio, there will be new opportunities emerging in your life, which motivate and inspire you to embark on a dream project. Take the time to meditate and create a strategy to ensure success by doing the groundwork and laying the foundations as this will help you to be motivated and stay the course. I'm feeling really for Scorpio that even though we're focusing on a love forecast for you, your, your love life, there's something tied into the business world for you, whatever project this might be talking about or your dream career, your dream job. There's something to do with this. 
You have to love what it is that you do for a living and the money will follow. That type of energy. Okay, let's grab another. For Scorpio. Greater fulfillment and prosperity will be heading into your life soon. You can now lay solid foundations. So there's something about the foundations because it says something very similar there. By creating strategies to realize your dreams. So it's very similar to what this card is saying. You're now ready to expand your horizons and structure a plan forward. This preparation will highlight the necessary steps needed to achieve your goals. So still, I'm getting that type of energy where it's got something to do with a particular goal or dream that you have in mind. But I'm not feeling it too much related to your love life. I'm feeling that this is something career related, finances related, something that you know you love to do or something that you know you'd be really good at. Let's grab one more for Scorpio. One more card from your angel guides, your spirit guides. You may be dealing with many demands and juggling priorities at this time. Spirit says that you are fixated on how you want something in particular to happen. You are being asked to let go of the need to control the outcome and be more flexible. You are being asked to release all expectations and have faith that you can move forward in your life with passion and determination. So this one, you know, can really focus on, yes, your career, finances, all that, but it could be tapped into your love life as well. Okay, so if you find that your demands on, you know, your responsibility in life, it's just weighing you down, then this is telling you perhaps to reset your priorities and uh, to just be able to be open to what the universe has to offer you. You know, it ultimately is giving you some very good energies for you, Scorpio. All right, so that's what I've got for you guys. I hope that this summer proves to be a very happy time for you. Lots of activity. Certainly when it comes to your love life, it, it has the potential to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, and um, to just be able to interact with people that really uplift you and people that you are attracted to but also to be very guarded with people that you know are not the type of individuals that you would want to interact with. All right, so I'll leave that there, guys. If you are interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box, as well as the links to the decks that you do see here. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.